That sounds like the biggest bunch of fluff I've ever heard in my life. He's the feistiest shark of them all. Stephen Baxter, the grumpy bastard. And the others love winding him up. <laughs> oh, I feel like just having some fun. Pinched a few deals off you this season. Oh, another one. Another one. But when it comes to business... Lord. ..he knows what he likes. I'm in. What do I need to do to get you? And he'll do whatever it takes to get it. We're going to blow this up. We are going to monster and destroy things. You name your price. This is Shark Tank. Business is ageless and it's timeless. I didn't start my business until, oh, I was a little older, so there's plenty of time yet. If I find an older person with that passion and that ability to focus, I'll back them. What, what do you think about the glasses? The which? My glasses. No, they're all. Next into the tank is an inventor team with a unique product and a combined age of nearly 150 years. John, we're almost there. But can they nail down a deal with a shark? This invention has been 28 years in the making. It's the only one of its kind. It's a world changer. It is going to be an absolute winner. Here, yeah, John. Oh, cute. I love the red braces. <laughs> I think that's leaning towards someone here. Matches the dress. It's meant to be. Bit of eye candy here. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, Sharks. Uh, I'm Bill. I'm John. We met through the Inventors Association in Melbourne. Oh, wow. There's an Inventors yeah. Association. Yeah, there's an Inventors oh, Association in Melbourne. Uh, John has created a double chuck drill. Mm, creative. I like it. Many years ago, I was trying to build a cubby house for my children. I had a ladder and I was going up and I was drilling the holes. Then I'd come down, I'd pick up the next cordless drill, then I'd screw the screws in. Oh, blow this, I'm wasting too much time. I'd go out and buy a double chuck drill. No such thing. So I built my first prototype in 1990. So that's 28 years. That's been a long journey. I've interviewed many carpenters, plumbers, electricians, DIYs, and the response to buying a one-handed double chuck drill has been absolutely electrifying, which is what's kept me going. But uh, we've stopped now because uh, we've run out of dosh. Oh, that happens. It is patented in Australia. Number 2008 314 052. <laughs> and we have a patent in the UK. 7997 uh, we, we believe you on the numbers. <laughs> <laughs> we would like you to invest in our business for $90,000 to buy 25% of our business. John's been at it for quite a long time and this is probably our last chance, so we need you. <laughs> <laughs> Bill and John, Thank you so much for coming today. Thank you. I've been enjoying this pitch already and you've barely started. <laughs> so you're asking for $90,000 for 25%, yes. which values your business. At 360000 360000 Oh, Andrew, good man on the figures. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a low valuation. And the reason for that is that we are not in production yet. Tell us, what is a double chuck drill? Let's show us how it works. Are we going to come up here? All right, let's, let's have a look. Come on. Show us how it works. Can you hold those for me, please? Can I hold some? Yeah, you can hold some. Thank you. I always thought you had a screw loose. <laughs> As you can see, you drill your pilot hole and then press the ch chuck change. That's amazing. So, so this rotation is the key thing. Yes, yeah. That's what the patent's on, yes. the automatic change. That's a double chucker. Yeah, look at it. He loves this. He loves this invention, doesn't he? <laughs> Hello, anybody hey, home? John, come, come to come us. Back. Thank you. That's really, really. That's really cool. Yeah, yeah it is. Yeah, yeah. And it's unique. There are multi-head drills out there, aren't there? I'm sure there yes, are. Yes, there are. How are they different to yours? You've got to use two hands to change the chucks. So you basically got to. So this is, this is all You've about... You've got to turn it physically. Yes, I thought. And yeah. the uh, WorkSafe people don't like that because there's a chance that the trigger should, could turn it yeah. and drill their hand. Wow. How much money have you invested in this job? Do you really want to know that, Andrew? I'm afraid so. 2.3. 2.3 million, million dollars. Oh, my God. Wow. Where did you get 2.3 million dollars from? I had two properties. Two farms. 
So you sold the properties to pay for this invention? Well, the bank said I had to, I owed them too much money. You've got to remember is that I'm just a farmer and um, I'm not really a businessman, and so I made a few mistakes. I'm still flabbergasted over you've put 2.3 million yeah, into so this. Yeah, so am I, don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> John, over the years, you know, when you sold the first farm and then you've put more and more money into it, was there ever a moment that you went, I'm out? No, never. But you haven't sold one. No, not just that's why we're here. Do you own the patent, John? Yes. And Bill, do you own any shares in this? 20%. And have you put real dough in? As in time and effort. Bill's on board because well, of his expertise in He's a businessman and I'm not. So Bill, how long have you been on the journey with John? Probably close to three years now. So in all that time, did you ever ponder, this is a dead horse and we're flogging it too hard? I'm a firm believer that the concept is great. What I've done since I've been involved with John is said, don't spend any more money. Okay. Excellent. Let's assess this. Let's work out the best way of going about That's it. That's right. And don't put good money after bad. You didn't want to invalidate him and his invention, but at the same time, you didn't want him to spend any more money. No. I got it. So who have you shown it to? Which of the global brands in this machine, this tools business, have you shown it to? We showed it to TTI in Hong Kong, Tectonic Industries. Yeah. And um, we've showed it to uh, Bosch, Black & Decker. What about DeWalt? Yeah, well, all this was some years ago, Andrew, yeah. So you've got nobody currently reviewing the technology with a view to licensing? No. We nearly had uh, a sale to Sears in America who've got almost 4,000 stores. Getting a deal with a retailer is not going to help you because they're going to ask you to produce stock. The license deal is the only way we can rescue you, John. We need to find someone who will take the design license off you and that's the way you get uh, a certain amount back for each drill sold. You'll have to license this to a drill manufacturer. Yep, that'd be the way to go, yeah. So, uh, look, John, negotiate a good deal and try and get a larger portion back of that $2.3 million you possibly can. Mm. I doubt you'll get the whole thing back. I think, honestly, here you're talking about recovering some funds, not getting a return on your investment. Really cool drill, but I'm out. Good luck. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, Steve. I think it's a very, very clever design, and you've solved a problem that is out there. I'm not a natural partner here for you, so and I don't think I can open the doors that you need me to open, so I'm out. Thanks for coming on the show. I think you've taught our audience all sorts of things about entrepreneurship, and that includes persistence, because gosh, you guys have absolutely stuck at it. Unfortunately for this deal though, I'm out. Yep, okay, you go. Yep. Glenn. Bill. You know, I, I am an impatient handyman, and I absolutely will be a customer. Love it. It is a really functional, practical tool. Um, I will rack my brains around my network. Let's see if we can get a manufacturer to share your vision. It's a tough gig, but unfortunately today, guys, I'm out. Thank you. Gentlemen, I'd love to help you, but it's an offer of help. It's not an investment. I happen to know the number two guy in DeWalt in the US, which is the trades uh, arm of Back and Deckham. You get me your patent papers, I'll endeavor to see if they will license you and, and rescue this journey of yours, which has been uh, incredible. That will be great. Appreciated. So, you know, you're not alone in this journey. That's OK. Bill says I've got stickability. Stickability, hey. All the best. Bye, Thanks, Bill and John. John. Take care. That's thank fine. you very much. No worries. And thank you for your time. Thank you, Bill. Yeah, no worries. Oh, hang on. John's not letting go of the product. He's putting it back. Look at that. He's so neat. I love it. We are certainly not going to stop now. It's been a great stepping stone uh, with the Sharks. I'm very pleased. We didn't get our money, but it went very well.